Hello, this is Gary Simon here with designcourse.com and the design letter. Today we're going to take a look at the gradient and we're going to take a look at the gradient tool and the gradient overlay option as a layer style. Um, a gradient is basically going from one color to another in a smooth transition. Alright, so let's go to file new. I'm just going to choose 800 by 500 with a resolution of 72. Hit OK. Let's zoom up here in case you're not at 100% with the magnifying glass tool. Alright, so I'm going to take the paint bucket tool and change the background to a black. Hit OK. Left click. Alright, so today I'm going to illustrate the different ways to create gradients and use them uh, through a button. So let's get out our type tool and I'm just going to have area, round, area rounded here and I'm going to choose white as the foreground color. Hit OK. You could use whatever font you want. doesn't really matter. So let's click, type in order now. So we're going to create an order button. OK. So underneath it, let's just select the background layer. Let's use the rounded rectangular tool. So uh, gradient, I'm going to leave at 10 pixels or the radius and then I'm going to choose a foreground color of a light blue hit OK and then I'm just going to select right around it just a big order button basically alright okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these layers so with the shape one layer selected hold control and click on order now and then over here, new group from layers. We can just call it button. Hit OK. All right, so now we have um, just one single layer to, to go ahead and just move this around. All right, so I'm going to right click, duplicate group. Actually, let me move it over here. Right click, duplicate group. Hit OK. Hold Shift and move over. Right click, duplicate group again. Hit OK, hold Shift, and move it over again. All right, so here are our three buttons in which we'll work with uh, gradients. So uh, right off the bat, um, we don't have to necessarily add a gradient to all of our buttons. That's just one thing I want to emphasize. Don't overuse gradients, but I'm going to show you how to use them, though. All right, so let's uh, expand the very first button group that we have. And the first way to add a gradient is through the gradient overlay option. We're not going to use this tool over here. Uh, so with the shape one layer selected, which is the layer that we want to add the gradient, we'll right click, or double click I mean, with the left mouse button, on the right side of the layer. And that brings this up. These are the layer style options. We can apply all these different types of layer styles to this specific layer. What we want to focus on today is the gradient overlay. So if we click that, it applies a default gradient, just from black to white, or white to black, I should say. Um, we could set the scale. If we put it 150, it starts way up here, or way down here, and then way up here. It really scales it out. Whereas we go to just 10%, you get the idea. Okay, so I'm just going to set it at 150. And then if we click right here, gradient, we get the gradient editor. Uh, we have all these different presets. You can just click one and it automatically applies all these different crazy looking presets here. What I want to focus on is the very first one, which is the foreground to background, which just takes your current foreground to your background. And that's a gradient right there. So these are our color pickers. We can move them, and obviously you can see it affects the orientation of the gradient. Uh, and we could double click them as well. So this white one over here, double click it, and I uh, we're able to change the color. I uh, just go back right around here. I'm gonna make this a real like a teal color. So going from teal to this blue kind of just makes the button pop. Hit OK. Another thing we can do is we can just click here. And we can add a ton of gradients. Or color pickers, and you can see it really affects the actual gradient itself. But that doesn't look good, and usually it doesn't more often than not. Um, we can create kind of like a metallic effect. 
So if we just move these real close to each other, like in the center somewhere, like almost on top of each other, add another one over here, then add another one over here, and then double click it to change the color. Hit OK. Okay, and then hit okay, and then hit okay. We can see that it kind of creates this uh, like a brief type of metallic effect on the button. Um, that's one way to add a gradient. The second way uh, is to create a layer mask. So if we create a new layer and select this button right here, use previous layer to create a clipping mask, hit okay, and then get a gradient tool out. And up here, it allows us to see the same presets. Let's go to foreground to transparent. And up here, this allows us to really choose different types of gradient styles. This is the very default one, which is just a linear gradient. Uh, and we select, say, maybe a darker color right here for our foreground. Hold Shift. And you can see that uh, we have a brief gradient. Uh, we can also add multiple. We can do this multiple times. And it all stays on the same layer. That's one way. Another way, the third way over here, this way only works on shapes, which is what this is. It's created by a tool over here or the pen tool. Uh, we can click right here and that gives us our path outline. Hold control and then left click once and that outlines the entire outline or whatever the path is. And then we can create a new layer. Control shift N. It doesn't have to be a clipping mask this time. Hit OK. And then Anything that we have will only, basically, we have the same effect as this left button, except it's just applied differently. Because if I drop this down, you'll see the layer mask, it's actually taking this entire area, but it's only showing through the visible uh, path beneath it. Okay, so those are the three ways to add uh, gradients. And in this case right here, I would only use... Uh, the very first option for the button. However, you don't always want to use a gradient overlay through the layer styles option. Uh, for example, if I'm working with a background uh, and I want to add a gradient to the background, usually I'll just create a new layer, take the gradient tool, uh, and usually I'll use this preset right here, which is foreground to transparent. Let me change the background color to just like a slight, slightly lighter version, and hold shift straight down and there we go pretty simple we can add multiple gradients if you want um, We can even create a new another one say for example we wanted to add like a drop shadow like a spherical drop shadow underneath one of these Let's change our foreground color to something like uh, around here hit OK and then just drag out Or we, this could be just a glow, actually. So if we take our square marquee tool and just select a little bit above and below the button, hit delete, and we have kind of like a glow, glow thing. Not a big deal, really. Uh, but these are the ways you can work with gradients. Um, one of the most important things to get out of this is first you have to understand how to use gradients, which I just gave you a pretty good rundown. And then second, uh, how to use them effectively and not overdo them. Um, all right, that's it. Uh, it's Gary Simon here, and check out designcourse.com if you haven't already. Uh, you'll see a ton of tutorials uh, as a member, which are a ton better than this one, which show full website design and logo design. All right, talk to you later.